Hi everyone, my name is Alex, one of the learning specialists at Lehigh Carbon Community College, and today I want to talk to you about NetTutor. Since smart thinking will not be accessible after June 30th, we're introducing NetTutor. NetTutor is an online tutor service you can access through Canvas. If you go through the LTRIC Student Life Canvas show, NetTutor will be located on the left-hand side. Or you can check the left-hand side of any of your class Canvas shells to find it there too. NetTutor covers a wide range of subjects and topics. They really mean it when they say algebra is zoology. Starting with math over here, we, they go from pre-algebra, maybe some applied calculus, or intermediate statistics. In the sciences, we have your biology courses, your chemistry courses, some environmental science, and there it is, zoology. English reading and writing, you have your composition one and two, maybe some poetry, writing courses, world languages and social sciences. As you can see here, there are many languages offered. Humanities and communications, accounting, finance, economics and business, allied health and nursing, computer science and information technology, and even first year experience and college student success courses. So if you're looking for anything within these subject areas, you can all find it here. Okay, since we've gone over the offered subjects, let's talk about how to navigate NetTutor. As I mentioned earlier in the video, you can access NetTutor through the LTRIC Student Life Canvas shell. Go down the left side and click on this link here, NetTutor. Once you've clicked on the link, it will redirect you to the Student Hub. On the Student Hub, you should see the NetTutor Tutoring Center, NetTutor Writing Center, and Customer Care. All right, so we'll take a look at the NetTutor Tutoring Center link first. This will take you to a list of the course offerings again in alphabetical order. So if you're looking for a specific class or subject, this is how you'll find it. And obviously you won't be using all of these. However, I think it is a nice way to kind of organize which classes go where and what subjects you might need help in. For today's example, we'll be using English and Literature. So we click on English and Literature, it'll take us to these five options. First one we'll talk about is it'll meet and drop in with a live tutor. You can click on that to meet with a live tutor. Up here in the top right hand corner where it says drop in tutoring hours, we'll show you the hours. The next one will be schedule an appointment. Click on that and it will take you to this page where you can click on hours where you can meet with a tutor. The thing I want to let you all know about this is that these hours may be different depending on where we are in the academic year or maybe not in the academic year. So for example, I'm recording this in the summer, so we might not have as many English courses offered at you know our college or other colleges, and so we won't see as many options here. Other things I would like to note are this reminder button so if you need a text to remind you that you know your tutoring session is up in 30 minutes you can do that all here uh, maybe you want an email you can also do that here but we'll go back here to these menus you can drop off a paper um, and get feedback later on you can drop off a question say you don't have a ton of time in your schedule you can always drop off a question and get feedback as soon as possible and then you also have your locker here so the locker is really cool because what it do it will save your previous sessions so you can always go back and maybe refresh your memory or you can pick up your reviewed papers or review feedback from the dropped off question i want to thank you all for joining me today on taking an overview of net tutor and what it has to offer we hope that you take advantage of this free online tool for students at ltrc and we also hope that you take advantage of all the other resources we have on campus, including any educational support services you might need or disability support services. And on the screen, you can see that we have contact information for our office. We're also located on the Schnecksville campus in Science Hall 150 in case you ever need anything in person. Thank you and have a great day.